guys finally the moment that i have been waiting for and i know you're, you've also been waiting for my one day hold chick are finally here like you can see they look so cute look at them ish, ish, ish. so this you can see here is a is a bulb that produces heat so you can use it for chicks for brooder and also for the piglets for the young piglets it is very efficient and it is very hot in case you touch it you can get easily burnt look at how they are enjoying they are feeling the warmth and like you can see they are well evenly distributed in the whole house meaning that the room is warm enough if you see them flocking in one place it means the room is not warm enough so here is the drinking the drinking jar i have two drinkers for the water so i have given them water containing the glucose and uh, liquid paraffin and egosin so i have mixed three things so i was advised to use one one tablespoon for four liters of water yeah egosin is an antibiotic and then the other one for the power is for glucose to give the glucose levels because they were so tired when they were coming so you can see they are enjoying and then this is the feeder these two are the feeding troughs you can see they are feeding on well i'm happy that they are able to 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 feed from the feeders because someone was saying that sometimes they cannot be able to feed from the feeders we need the 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 ones that are flat but thank god at least they are able to take up from the feeders <coughs> so that is how they look like they are feeling warm yeah they're enjoying the heat yes then i have i have um, improvised some sacks just to give the room a bit warmth a bit of the warmth so they are warm enough because i can also feel i'm feeling warm enough so they are pretty warm so this is the first day so that i can remember for the record today is october 16th so just to be remembering when i started my one day old chick so today is uh, 16th of october 2024 so this is the first lot i have begun with andre chicks i know they don't look like andre the way they are distributing themselves in this room this room can fit like a thousand now i believe hey, hey there are so many they are so less compared to the size of the room so in case this is your first video watching this is how the room looks like you can see the lighting is sufficient and this is the broiler section so guys stay tuned as i will be updating you throughout the chicken feeding program so this is for day one and so far so good they all arrived safely they are from ken chick company it's a kenyan company and they are the broiler variety they are so good so next i'm bringing the improved kenya so keep locked stay here so that you'll be learning how to do poultry farming the right way possible i don't know i think i should go and show you how whatever i have put in the water how they look like let me go and take them and come along with them so that i show you how they look like <clears throat> hello guys this is nelly bennett Today is yet another interesting episode of poultry farming. So guys, my name is Nelly Bennett. I'm a YouTuber, a content creator. I do agriculture and I always say agriculture is my new culture. And today I'm super excited. Like I promised you in the previous video, I told you that I was bringing my broiler chicken. I want to start broiler dairy. So I brought them today. And as you can see, these are vaccinated chicks this is the tray that i i came with i brought the chicken in with so this is from ken chick company it's a very trusted company in kenya they have not paid me to promote them but i have to mention them anyway because i trust them their brand after i saw several videos on youtube also people saying that they are the best variety so i chose to go with ken chick 
because I believe that it is the best company that I know in Kenya. So these are vaccinated chips already. They are pre-vaccinated. They can see they are vaccinated against Newcastle. After seven days, I'll be vaccinating them against Gumboro. So guys, I want to show you how my one day old chick looks like. And I'm pretty excited to, be to begin this venture. So as you can see here, are my one day old chick. I have tried to prevent the weed so that I make the room so warm. So like you can see, I'm feeling the warmth. So I also believe that even my cheeks are feeling the warmth. I can see they are well distributed evenly around the whole room. So in case you see them overcrowding on one place, it means that the room is not warm enough. So apo kwa warmness of the room, you need to apo ni mepata kila kitu. So guys, uh, for one day hot chick, in case you are a beginner farmer like me, I have seeked advice from several vets who know much about poultry farming. So I was advised that you give them food throughout. You make sure that the feeding traps are always having food 24-7. And then make sure that the room is warm enough for the first like seven days. So then for the drinking water, this is what I am using. I'm using the normal water. Then I was advised to use egosin. This is a powder. It's called egozin. It's only you go, you are get, you get advice from the veterinary specialist. So it is a cheap formula that provides antibiotic and vitamins, essential vitamins for the growing chicks. So this is very vital for the day one up to five days. So I'll be putting one tablespoon in four liters of water. But in case you have a two liters of water, you use one teaspoon. The tablespoon is the one that you, use, the big spoon that we, we eat with. Then there is another one. It's called a chick start. This is a water soluble powder again, just to give the chicks energy. You know, they are, it, it contains glucose, it has vitamins, it has amino acids, and very essential minerals for a day old chick. So this one also, you give it up to five days, the same thing with this one so you put this one one spoon and this one one spoon this one is giving them energy and the glucose because they were they were so tired they have traveled all the way from nairobi and they have come to meru that is like a four hour journey <coughs> and again to get to my home like now 10 minutes or 30 minutes so they come very tired so that is why it is very important to give them their energy back and to give them an antibiotic just to prevent the infections and give them the the vitamins that they need for growth then also you should also add uh, 100 ml of liquid paraffin this is how it looks like this is uh, called just liquid paraffin you can add every agrovet just ask for them for liquid paraffin it also reduces constipation in the cheeks you know now they came so hungry we don't know when they were fed you know they are day old chicks so it is the first time they are feeding so they might constipate if they eat a lot so this one reduces constipation this one chick that gives them energy and this one gives them the vitamins and protects them from uh, diseases. various diseases so it is a good antibiotic you also know when you want not to get sick unakumi antibiotic just to prevent you from getting sick so guys Yes, that is what is in the water, like you can see here. So that is what I have put in the water. And then for the feed stuff, I have put the chick starter, the fugo. I chose to use fugo starter. I believe for me it is the best when it comes to poultry feeds. So I chose fugo starter. So they are going to take this starter maybe from now up to day 17. And then at, at day 18 there, I will start introducing the finisher so that by day 21 I will now be transforming to the finisher. So to the growers I mean, I will introduce the growers. So from day, from day 18 to day 21 I will be mixing up the starter and the grower mash so that they will be getting now used to the growers. So that is it. So for day one, check. So what do you think guys? Is it a hay or a nay? Nimepata ama nimekosa? Because this is my first time doing 
chicken poultry family but at least i'm lucky enough because my mom has been a farmer for the longest time so my mom knows how the chicks also need to be fed so some things i'm getting the guidelines from my mom and also from the pets i don't want to go wrong with this farming i want to get everything correct i don't want to start in calling roses in any way so guys that's it about the chicks so i hope you've loved today's video so don't forget to hit that subscribe button like the video and subscribe and like and share with your friends for this and more episodes of farming with nelly bernard see you in the next episode as i show you the daily routine of my feeding chicken from morning to evening in the meantime allow me enjoy my cheeks the company of my cheeks it's so warm very warm this is very hot if you touch it you get burnt <laughs>